going to audit our AF database for all of those PyPoint data reference configuration settings and make sure there's good tags in them. And to do that, so we're going to connect to our AF database using this little blue button here. And that's going to select the AF server or the Py system and also the database, which for us is tanks. And that's confirmed over here on the left hand side. And then we're going to click on elements and we'll go find our elements. First, we can select what our root is and then the template. And then when we finally get our elements here, we can hold the shift key down and select the elements we want to work with and click OK. Now, in this case, the two things we're really interested in is the config string and the data reference, which are attribute fields. So if we go down here and find the attribute section and click on the data reference and the config string, and we're going to clear everything else and click OK, it'll bring back all of the elements we have and all their attributes but it will only show us the attribute configura configuration string and the data reference. I'm going to use a Microsoft function called sort and say use my headers at the top and sort on that data reference. And we can see right here we have all of our PyPoint data references together. And then we can delete the other rows because what we're interested in is the settings for those PyPoint data references. So I'm deleting all the other cells in the Excel sheet. And when we do that, now we just have the PyPoint data references. Now in this case I only have three of them. Could I but I could have many, many rows, thousands of rows here that I'm working with. What I'd like to do is confirm that these are actually good pi points. To do that, I'm going to format the cells here for general, and then I'm going to put a pi data link function in here to confirm that this is a good cell. So I'm going to go in here and say, first of all, I'd like to isolate the pi tag. So I'm going to use an Excel function called mid to take the pi tag out and leave the server reference in front of it behind. And when I do that with the mid function, I'll only have the tag here. You can see the pi tags listed there. Now the next thing I'd like to do is data link function called current value. And when I select current values, as many of you know to do, I can point at those pi tags and click OK and bring back the current value of the pi tags. And it looks like they're all OK. But let's go ahead and change one anyway. So this one, which was BA temp1, I'm going to change to sinusoid. I'm adding it right there in the config string field. So we're going to change that BA temp1 to sinusoid. I could do this with quite a few, and I could use text concatenation to reformat that with the, with the uh, server in front of it as well. When we click on export, we can select edit, click OK. That will send it back to PyAF. And then we can go to System Explorer, and you'll see that that tag, which we needed to change when we click on it, is changed now, if we hit refresh, and we'll see that it's no longer BA temp1, it's sinusoid. So this is a way to check to make sure your PyPoint data references have good Py tags in them.